Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, I'm going to show a little trick that's useful in handling situations where you have two shots of widely different lengths and need to link up trackers from one to the other. And that's typically for a survey shot and a main shot. So here's our reference shot, about 10 frames. We've got you know, a main shot that's over 100 frames. Now if I go to a stereo sort of view with the two cameras next to each other, you'll see what happens. You know, once I get past the, you know, the length of the first shot, you're not getting anything in that other view. So if you're trying to link up trackers that are later in this main shot, that's, that's difficult. So what you want to do is be able to control these two views independently. So I'm going to show you how you can do that using the camera and perspective view instead. So what we're going to do, we've still got our one shot on the camera view. This other one, we're going to lock to the second camera. We're going to go and turn on view, freeze on this frame, and it's going to keep it on camera 2 also. And we're going to set the mode to scrub the time bar. So now if I scrub in this view, I move back and forth in this shot. If I go now, you know, back to the main shot and set that, I'm using the main time bar. to adjust the longer shot and I can just go around and drag in the perspective window to move around within the second shot. So now all I'm going to be doing to link trackers up is just clicking it over in the main camera view and then alt clicking the tracker in this perspective view and that'll set up the link between the two of them. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how it can be easy to go and do this across shots of different length. You can also use this same trick just on the single shot to be able to get access into two different spots in the same shot. Take care.